There is trouble in the kingdom from international companies attaching assets estimated in hundreds of millions to diplomatic scandals tainting its good name. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs is having its hands full but promises to act decisively where necessary. We are going to take the, the report from South Africa, look at it, and then take action on the basis of that. But what I can tell you is that when a person is now declared a person non grata, it is for the, for the country to make sure that they clear that person outside of that country within the stipulated time because if they stay, they will be arrested. The minister says there is a lot at stake for Lesotho, hence the need to pull up all stops to arrest the situation. But, Ntetirapela, think of it. We have put um, a rant at par with the loot. The fact is, it's not. That means. We have to work with South Africa and South African Development Bank very closely with the economy of South Africa so that we, you know, they could keep, still keep us at par with the, with, the, with, the, with the South African brand. Because if we don't do that, the following day we can wake up and send the South Africa said, you, your loot is going to be 20, 20 maluti. So it is very complex. We can't just say our relationship is just for us to dump anybody there. It isn't. And if you have been doing that, it has been wrong. But the ministry seems to be having its hands full. Concerns have been raised regarding the American embassy's decisions to downscale its activities in the country. They have only taken some of the activities in the consulate are going to be done in, in South Africa. And the rest, the embassies here, everything is fully you know, functioning from here. All our activities that we are doing with, the, with America, we are still doing them from here. And for, for us, it was okay with that because we are doing the same thing. And South Africa, for instance, if it closes 10 embassies, as they said, it's a big country. What about us small countries? If, if America also says it's reorganizing because of the expenses, what happens to us? From one crisis to another, a German solar company has secured a default judgment in South Africa to attach Lesotho's assets and royalties estimated in hundreds of millions. He had attached our properties through the Lesotho Islands Water Project, it, through the treaty, bilateral, which we have bilateral uh, agreements, and he wanted uh, L, uh, LT, TCTA, which is uh, our partner in there, to stop giving us uh, to 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 give him to give him the royalties, he had to also talked to Oscom, who has also talked to um, uh, Oscom and LEC. He had also talked to the communication through the cable that you, you know all those, those ministries. So that is why the prime minister had sent us specifically because we had when we heard of this thing, I did call uh, my counterpart in South Africa to tell him. Here is what we hear from the, you know, the media and all the news. Uh, do you know of this thing? And he said, we don't know this as government. Lesotho Prime Minister says he is not worried and will deal accordingly with the situation. Uh, Lesotho's properties, both in Lesotho and overseas, are, are protected. And we don't think uh, the action that they are uh, proposing will, will succeed. But some are worried that the government is downplaying an entire saga and might regret it later. See, see there's a big problem that I've seen that a lot of people are, are, are misconstruing what the law of contract says. The law of contract says the other side is not under an obligation to know inside your own house when things are in order and when they are not in order. Now the problem is, if we put up one stupid minister for lack of better word, and then he signs they will put this country in trouble. Molati blames the current administration for being reckless. The thing is this. During the reign of this prime minister, a whole many things are wrong. Why is it that up to the point when the arbitration award had been issued, the whole issue remained hidden until that time that the media could pick it up that in fact the assets of Lesotho are in danger? It says, in all fairness, there is somebody somewhere who is sleeping on the job. And that person should actually face the consequences of that conduct. With just under a year before the country goes to national elections, more problems than solutions seem to be taking center stage.
making it even harder for the electorate to find a suitable administration to pluck the country out of its never-ending woes. Rapelang Khatebe, SABC News, Maserolo Suto.